Welcome to Dark Knight Films Reviews and another special video night. Um, now I am a uh, big fan of the Hot Ones channel on here on YouTube. Um, if you're not aware of that channel and uh, haven't never seen it before, um, the host ends up um, having celebrities come on there and they try to outlast him while eating different uh, hot sauces. Um, if you've never seen the channel, uh, check it out right up here in this. I've included a link in the description above. So, um, but I really like the format of that. They've had numerous celebrities on there, and uh, including a couple of wrestlers, uh, Chris Jericho, Stone Cold, and uh, Undertaker were on there. Um, but tonight I am doing my own little variation on this with uh, more local um, sauces, and they're not just all hot sauces either. Some of these are uh, hot wing sauces and barbecue sauces and stuff like that. So a um, little bit different, but uh, still the gist of the thing, you know. Um, I don't think I'll ever do a video where I do the actual um, hot ones, hot sauces that they're uh, using. Um, now, if any of you watching this like this video and want to see me uh, do those and want to help me to uh, get those hot sauces and uh, everything, I, I'm all for it. If you guys want to uh, get me the hot sauces and get them to me, um, have at it. I'll do the I'll do the video then, but as for now, I'm gonna just stick with these local um, different sauces. So let's begin. All right, so I have them all. Uh, lined up here from uh, supposedly weakest to the hottest. So we are going to start, and I have a glass of milk here just in case uh, it gets too spicy, but I don't think I'm gonna need it. Put my hair up because uh, it stays out, of, and then some water uh -huh, just in case. All right, so here we go. Uh, first one is Clover Valley. Parmesan garlic wing sauce. All right, here we go. I'm already hungry, so um, that's not uh, it's not spicy at all. Um, definitely taste the garlic and the. Uh, um, Parmesan that goes together really well. Um, yeah, mm. that's not too bad. That's pretty good. Um, and uh, not bad. Mildest, definitely. That's definitely probably going to be the mildest of this uh, video. But yeah, definitely not a bad. Uh, sauce there. Um, all right. So next we have Kraft Slow Simmered Original Barbecue Sauce. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Kraft saw. It's not really, really spicy, spicy. But it's got enough of a nice tang to it that, um, yeah, it is, uh, it's good. That is some good barbecue sauce. Um, not so much hot sauce, but, uh, it's definitely, um, a good barbecue sauce. Um, but yeah, definitely more on the mild side, of course. 
Um, next we have a open pit original barbecue sauce. All right. Let's see how this one is. I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't think that one is as good as uh, the original um, barbecue from Kraft. Um, it's not bad, not bad, but it's, uh, and it is a little bit on the spicier side than because uh, it, it's slow. It's got that slow. Uh, Whereas the craft one was more right in your face, this one's a little bit slower, got a little slower, spicier thing that comes in later. Um, yeah, but uh, not bad, not bad. Um, not as good as the other though. Next we have Clover Valley Mild Buffalo Wing Sauce. All right, let's, uh, this is a lot, uh, uh, thinner of a sauce, so, uh, I don't know what to think of this one. Um, here we go. Mm. Um. Not near as good as their other, uh, their other sauce was better. Um, this one's definitely a little bit spicier than uh, the open pit one, but nothing so spicy that it's like, oh, it burn your mouth off. Um, but uh, don't really care for this one. Um, I'm hungry. That's why I'm going to finish it. Um, but I think it's got a little bit too much of a vinegar um, taste to it that I don't really care for. Um, yeah, that, that one's not that good. Not that good. All right, so All right. next we have Moore's Original Buffalo Wing Sauce. All right. This is a little bit of a thicker uh, sauce, so we'll see how it tastes. Here we go. I think it's very similar to uh, the Clover Valley when it's Not that good. Again, it's got that vinegar um, taste to it. And if you don't like vinegar, wow. Mm. Wow, this is, uh, it does have a little bit more bite than uh, the other, though. I will say that. Mm. Definitely not my thing, though. All right. Next, we have Frank's Red Hot Wings Buffalo Sauce. All right. Let's see how good Frank's Buffalo Wings are. This is another one that's uh, tastes like it's got too much vinegar in it. Um, I don't really care for that vinegar um, flavor to it. Um, yeah, that's yeah. All right. I don't need this up anymore. All right, I'm going to finish it up. 
because I'm hungry. All right. Up next, we have Crystal Louisiana's Pure Hot Sauce. All right. See how this one tastes. Um, um, it's definitely, uh, spicy, um, <sighs> not going after that milk. Sorry. Not even touching the water. Um, no. All right. Final one. This one is supposed to be the hottest of the hot sauces. Cholula original hot sauce. All right. Let's see if this is the one that pushes me into uh, drinking that milk. I don't think so. I am uh, perspiring quite a bit um, from the heat, from the hot on these, so. though. Um, but I'm keeping my cool. All right, here we go. Hmm. That is probably the better tasting out of these supposedly hot ones. Um, the other ones were just basically vinegar tasting, except for the crystal. The crystal one wasn't that bad, but um, the buffalo ones were just too much um, vinegar flavor to them. Well, this one, mm, that's good. That's got good... Um, It's got pretty good flavor to it, I think. I mean, it's, it is uh, a bit um, on the spicy side, um, but um, it's it's pretty good. Um, yeah, still had a little bit of that crystal one with the uh, vinegar and work taste to it, um, but not because of that one. Uh, uh, I'm going to pick one of these and tell you which one I think is the best. Um, I'd say the best is uh, the uh, regular craft uh, barbecue sauce. Um, if, you're, if you're just wanting something uh, without too much spice. Now, if you're wanting the more spicy one, um, I would say this one is definitely the one. Um, that one's not too bad. That's, that's pretty good. Um, the rest of these, uh, these, uh, these uh, buffalo wings ones are god-awful with the uh, um, vinegar taste. Now, if you like vinegar flavor, You'll probably like these here. Um, uh, the crystal one didn't have as much of the vinegary stuff, but it was uh, it still wasn't as good flavor to it. So um, I would say, like I said, uh, if you want something that's not that spicy, uh, go with the craft one. And if you want one that's really hot, go with this one. Uh, but uh, I made it through this um, without, without touching the milk and without touching the uh, water. Um, I am uh, sweating a little bit because of uh, how hot whew, they are. But uh, cause, yeah, these these last uh, three or so are pretty. Uh, well, actually, this one this one here, the Moors. Uh, one was was pretty uh, pretty bitey too, um, just because of 
that vinegar, it, it had way too much of a vinegar thing to it. Um, but uh, have you tried any of these? What do you guys think of these? And would you like to see me um, do the actual hot ones on my channel here? If so, um, donate, you know, send, send me some of those uh, hot sauces that he's used on his, uh, on his channel. And uh, I'll be glad to do it then. But uh, anyway, um, the surprise for me out of these was probably this one, uh, the, uh, the uh, Parmesan garlic uh, wings uh, from Clover Valley. It's much better than their stupid ass buffalo, buffalo wings one. Uh, that one was just uh, far too much vinegar. Um, all right. So, hope you have enjoyed this special uh, video, and uh, hope you will uh, join me next week as we uh, continue forward with our uh, next uh, Hammer Movie Night. Um, hope you've enjoyed this little diversion. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.